Chicano and George. Completely uncensored entertainment on Dash Fox TV. <laughs> With Abe Ruiz and the Squatters. Our amazing burlesque dancing team, the Piglets. On tonight's show, we have... Right, George? A cock. That's right. We got a couple of TV stars on the show today. Oh, that's gonna suck. All right. You watch the Oscars? I, I, I like to watch the uh, the Grammys when they get out the music awards. Music is so dominated by black people now. When they get out the awards, they should just go, and the Negro is. All right. All right. That's not cool, George. So I see you got a long sleeve shirt on. Are you chilling, Geppetto? No, what's wrong with this shirt? What are you going, assembly? You no talent, cocksucker. Kill yourself. <laughs> and uh, we have a great show tonight. So make some popcorn, relax, have a sandwich, and stay tuned for more pig roast. Folks, welcome to an ep another episode of Last Week Sucked here on the Pig Roast, and I'm glad you guys have been watching, and uh, we have some good news to report um, today. Um, let's uh, let's get to the news. What do you say, George? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get to the news. Um, a man on Saturday stole $200 from a group of Girl Scouts selling cookies outside of Walmart. Oh, the incident was just the latest sign that Newt Gingrich's campaign is really struggling to raise funds. <laughs> <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. And, uh, hey, look who's here. <laughs> hey, George. Hey, how you doing? It's Science Night at Lab Coat Kenny. How are you guys? Welcome, welcome. Come on. Hi, buddy. Come on in. If there ain't enough room on the fucking planet. All right. <laughs> welcome, guys. How are you? Hi, hi guys, thanks for having us. Nice to see you. Hey, let me ask you, when you guys open a menu and look at it, do you just say yes? <laughs> uh, well, my OCD, I order whatever he orders. Oh, yeah. Sure. How's your uh, show going? Good, it's going pretty good. We just did a rap video. You did? W was it enjoyable uh, shooting a season of, of shows? Yeah. Yeah? It's been okay. Going good. Okay, still no cure for cancer? Uh, <laughs> Kenny may know. Yeah. We've been, We've been working, working on, on some things in our, in our lab, yeah. Holy shit, he talked. Yeah. Right? We actually have a cure for hangovers. Oh, yeah, what's that? Stop drinking. Uh, <laughs> mine is two cheeseburgers and a nap. <laughs> Shut up. Right. And these are the stars of... What's the name of your show? Uh, Dropping Science. From Dropping Science. Science! Science. Science. <laughs> According to an extensive new study, older Americans, especially people over the age of 80, appear to sleep better than their far younger counterparts. 
Yeah, that's because they're almost fucking dead. Even <laughs> these two fucking idiots can figure that one out. <laughs> Look at this one. He's got one foot in the fucking grave already. All right. Every time you bite into a sandwich, you'll play peekaboo with the fucking angel of death. He's got that. Can you behave, oh, behave, no. behave. This is George's house. And this one's no better. All right. Uh, okay, uh, I'm sorry about that. Hey, when you walk around with that lead coat on, the people in the state you for a drive-in movie screen? <laughs> 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 Home and home. No, no, he was a gentleman. No, 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 he was a little out of order himself. Right. <laughs> Keep them here. All right. Uh, you're no better, you fucking creep. Always moving your arms around when you talk. It's like you robbed Howie Mandel's act and then fucking ate him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually. The, action, the only thing I can't do with Howie's thing is just Bobby wouldn't push the stocking over his head. <laughs> All right. I right, have a rice cake. Right. <laughs> Disney World closes its controversial childhood obesity exhibit after critics complain that it stigmatizes fat kids. Yeah, and Christy Alley was heard saying it stigmatizes fat adults, too. <laughs> when is that cunt going to go away? Hey, that ain't a bad idea. Why don't you have Christy Alley as a guest on your show? Make you two look thin. You two bums should have went to Disney and get some, some fucking pointers from that fucking Nazi mouse. I know, I hate that Nazi mouse. He's, a, he's an anti-Semite, that mouse. He's a Total anti-Semite. <laughs> well, yeah. Disney was. He made he made sure all the Disney characters were anti-Semites still. He was a Jew hater, wasn't yep. he? Yeah. Uncle Walt isn't a good guy like you thought he was. What's not to hate? Right. <laughs> science, bro. It's science. <laughs> I'm here with the great science Mike and lab, lab called Kenny, two dear friends. They're awesome. You you got to catch their show on Bashbox. They're they're just great, aren't aren't you great? Thank you. You're so are you. We love you. Because you're really here. I, I love you. I, I, I also love paper cuts. Uh, Lindsay Lohan hosted Saturday Night Live this week. Uh, yeah, she was there to promote a, do, a new documentary about one of her typical nights out called Project X. <laughs> and she is. Uh, Mary Kay, Estee Lauder, and Avon face allegations that they test their products on animals despite labeling their co cosmetics as cruelty-free. Yeah, a spokesman for the trio replied by saying the products are only tested on suitable and appropriate subjects. <laughs> Heroin. <laughs> Science. We test our own stuff all the time, Otto. Who else do you test stuff on besides animals? Yeah. <laughs> Squirrels so, usually work pretty well. Don't you have any compassion for little animals screaming in, in pain so some fat, rich cunt can smell good going to the opera? Uh, I feel kind of un-American now. Yeah, I do feel kind of bad. Yeah, some, man, some animals bad. don't hurt anybody. Some true mice or meese or mouses are being tortured because of some fat... Yeah, man, we interviewed the guys from Rescue Inc. They don't take no shit. If an animal gets abused, they're in trouble. And, uh... On a sad note, uh, we lost, uh, comedy lost a great one uh, uh, Monday night. Vince D'Antona, who was a ventriloquist as myself. Uh, Vince and George uh, passed away. Well, Vince passed away. And I, I heard a rumor that when a ventriloquist dies, they cut the strings on the puppet. What? <laughs> the second you fucking croak, I'm on the next plane to fucking Jeff Dunham's house. <laughs> it's going to be a very short bereavement. Right. Nobody's cutting my fucking strings. How do you look happy about that, George, when you said the strings? I don't know where that thing is then. All right. It's not like a jelly donut and ass. All right. All right. Stop I it. I don't like you. Right. Behave it. All right. This is home. That's a decanter. <laughs> is that what that's called, a decanter? This is a beaker. Oh. Penny, hey, this is George's daughter's home. I'm sorry. The famous Penny. Mike Pichetti finger. <laughs> right. Well, that was the news for this week, folks. Uh, don't forget to watch next week. We have the lost episode of the Pig Roast from 1977. It's awesome. We found some very rare footage. Uh, we have Elvis Presley as a guest when he was alive. Um, <laughs> and uh, once again, keep watching the Pig Roast and dropping science with my two good friends. And uh, Vince, rest in peace. And, uh, and um, that's it. That's it. Good night.
Hey, how you doing? Good, good. This is my friend Otto. This is George. Hi, Joe. Joe. Hello. Hi, Hi, Joe. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I've seen the show. Chips. He wants to adopt a dog today. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my landlord wants to adopt a dog is basically why we're here. And I thought, you know, since you guys do such good work, I'd bring him down. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. All right. Chips. All right, so who's going to be uh, adopting the dog? You? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I gotta ask you a few questions. I ask the same thing of everybody. You gotta fill out this application, course, and then we'll take course. you back and show you some dogs. All right? Oh, right. That's okay. It's gonna be good for you. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Yeah. Thanks so much for. Hey, you're welcome. All right. First question is your name. Chips. C H I P P S C O O N E Y. Twenty five. <laughs> yes. 25 Valley Place, New Jersey, 07020. Slow down, slow down, slow down. 0700, New Jersey, 020. Okay. Why did I have to come? <laughs> All right. Have you ever owned an animal before? Uh, oh, Jesus. I think it was around 10 years old. Just want to get back into it again. I got to ask you something about the dog before we go any further. These poor dogs, they come here, they're, they're neglected and everything like that. And this, psychologically, do they like still uh, hump you? Well, you know, we, we, try, that, to, we you know. try to break them out of bad habits. So oh, good. Know, most likely that won't happen. They're all spayed and neutered, so. And it comes uh, with the bed? Uh, no, I got a bag. Yeah, we could, we could supply you with some and stuff. And a leash? Yeah, yeah, we'll give you a what leash. What about uh, peanut butter? <laughs> peanut butter? Well, he likes peanut butter. Don't, don't ruin this. Just okay. want to give him what he wants. I want you to treat him nice, like he's my son. I feel like I'm going to be a father today. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to tell me, champ? Uh, no, it comes with the, the leash, the bed. Um, Find out psychologically about the humping the leg, because that's got to go. I can't want that. People come over the house, dog jumping on you like that. You're gonna find out about that, right? Yes. What about it? Well, I just thought maybe. Uh, I got, know, I, I got the dog for you. You know, with the leash, though. I got that. I got I want the dog. Peanut butter with the leash. Yeah. Big A, come to the front. We got a number nine adopter. Number nine. Oh, that's your lucky number. Number nine. That's good. That's all hey, you know. what's happening? How you doing? What's going on? What's happening? Happenin'? Who's the number nine? You lucky number nine? Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Show us nice. I'm gonna be a father. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Whoa. Let's nice go. Show you. Come on. Okay. We'll be out of here soon. Right this way. Yeah. 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 What you do, the work is just terrific. All right, so some of our good dogs here. Don't worry about it, my friend. I got a real good one for you. Hey, your dog's right over here, number nine. Come yeah. here, look, right here, right here. I got the dog for you. Look, he's right back there. Get it, get it, get it. I promise I'll be good. I won't touch no one. Help me. Somebody call the cops. Let me out of here. <laughs> he Did you fall down? Can I go back there? <laughs> you want to go back there? Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Thank you. How, how, do you, how, do you, how do you know this guy? He's my landlord. He knows him. I don't want to come here. We've got dogs in fucking Jersey. Take it easy. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see your operation with this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, don't worry. I'll set it up for you right now, don't worry about it. Thank you. Great. Johnny O, come to the front. We got another number nine adopter. This is true. <laughs> nine. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm number nine. Number nine? Yes, sir. Thanks. I'll show you right back. Right 
Now get the fuck out of here. Take your fucking dogs with you, you pervert. Hey, I'm here with Liz and her dog Chance, and we got the cast of Rescuing Kid today. Here, uh, we got Big Ant, we got Johnny O, and we got Joe Pans. I want to say it right, Pans, right? That's right. Yeah, I want to say it right because these guys could crush my head like a Trisket. <laughs> now, if you don't know about Rescuing, these guys are fucking amazing. They're heroic. They save, they save dogs and any animals in crisis. And how'd you guys get started? Well, we're the, we're the type of guys. Uh, from any neighborhood really that if there was a certain situation that uh, evolved and uh, somebody got in trouble and they had nobody else to turn to mm -hmm. they'd come to us and we'd help them out back then when we first started uh breast groups were mainly comprised of women right. they would come to us from time to time with all sorts of problems uh -huh. whether it be somebody abusing an animal that got abusive with them someone destroying cat enclosures somebody fighting animals or took somebody's animal we'll give it back yeah yeah we would either go with these women to make sure they're okay if it was a little serious and somebody need to really be talked to we, we, we would go ourselves and uh we'd go uh educate them yeah <laughs> you need to be rescued from a buffet <laughs> easy insult the guy now you know i could just use you as a toothpick with no problem oh god all right just make friends everywhere you go george don't be a douche all right, i should have said steven seagal should be rescued from the buffet that he was right there <laughs> that dog the bounty hunter and the big tits and that fucking cunt white that is all right but why doesn't helen keller play piano because she's fucking dead kittens, all right? No, no, they, they take care of all animals. I fucking hate cats. We got a, we got a nice fireplace to put you in. Again yeah. with the wood jokes? Yeah. All right. I jerk off with sandpaper, darn. Right. Well, for you, too. A few nails, George. Take it easy. These guys are huge. You know, before it used to be all women rescue like we were just talking about. But now if you see the world is changing out there, it's men forming groups. And that was right after we have done our movement. Exactly. And everybody was just following our way. And um, it's great. Now it's all guys forming together. And because now we made it cool. We made it cool. Listen, you could be cool. You could be a tough guy. You know, you could be anybody, a street guy. But you know yeah. what? You know, you save an animal. You're doing the right thing. I know. Right? We've we've fucked over animals for so long. When you, when I see like an elephant go berserk and just start killing people at the circus, it's like they must have done something. To yeah, these because things. you gotta see who's a scumbag who pissed them off. I would mm -hmm. kill a cockroach right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> would that be okay, sir? I might let a man try in front of you too. <laughs> if I don't say something, I hear shit from those two douchebags in the right dark. All right. And then in between a rock and a fucking hard place here, you got three dinosaurs and these two homos. <laughs> right. We got a pencil shop in the center. <laughs> and this is Chance the dog there. Get a good shot of his starfish. <laughs> Chance was licking my face before. So Chance and, likes George, um, right? Yeah, so fuck Michael Vick. These guys rule. We got this the cast. This, there's a lot of different things that rescuing does that a lot of people are aware of. We visit schools, we've been talking about bullying and, 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 and talking to these kids and letting them know that you could be a tough guy and still do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We defend those who can't defend themselves. We mm -hmm. stick up for the underdogs. We're the type of guys, that's why we emulate with these animals, these pit bulls, because people take a look at us and then turn around and walk on the other side of the street when yeah. we're most likely <laughs> the guys that are going to go help you. Exactly. And the guy in the suit is the one like a Madoff that's going to rob you. So Joe, where can everyone donate? Well, what you could do is you could go to our website, which is www.rescueinc, inc is spelled I-N-K, dot com, and you'll get to our website. And if you need something to be addressed, if you have something to report, you can report it there. If you want to start a chapter, because we have chapters all over the world, you could, you could start a chapter. You just have to fill out the, uh, a chapter form. Also, if you want to adopt an animal or report abuse, that's where you could do it. But most important, you could donate. When you donate to us, it goes to rescue the animals. It goes to get us, every dollar gets us that much closer to an abuser's doorstep right. to take care of a certain problem. A lot of people don't understand this, but 100% of all the serial killers, pedophiles, and rapists out there all started off abusing animals at yeah, one time or another. Sure. What they do is they practice on animals. And when they feel comfortable 
or they can't feed that sickness inside anymore, they move on to something else that they deem to be helpless, which is usually a small child, a woman, or an elderly yeah, person. exactly. These are the people that we seek out on a 24-hour basis. That's great. So send, send blankets, towels, cash, uh, food, anything like that to the... Well, you see we have our own facility here, too, the mm -hmm. restaurant facility in the city of Long Beach. And, you know, we run on, like you said, donations. You know, yeah. people come in here, give me blankets, but, you know, the dollar goes a long way if we have, an, you know, for each animal, and that's where it goes. A lot of it goes to the animals. And yeah. So if you see a guy putting a giraffe in a headlock, you call these <laughs> fucking guys and take care of it. And take care of it. Right. Okay. Okay, that's it from the pig rows here at Rescue Week and Ladies and Chance and the Boys. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm really excited to have this young lady here, all the way from Italy, uh, the singing sensation, Donia. Yeah. Do you learn how to order uh, calamari? Do you have calamari where you're from? Oh, yeah, in, in 
Yes. You have some on you? Oh, yeah. I say, a gallon ma. I used to say, calamari, a gallon ma. Antonio Andolini, the your father. <laughs> um, you are you are very 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 talented. Thank that you. song sounds like a hit, really. Oh, Your you. is old. Your <laughs> don has got a stanky puss out. She's old. You know what I mean? She's old. <laughs> then you meet Madonna? I met Madonna. I went up, I kicked her in the ass, 12 cocks fell out. I saw that. Be nice. How long were you in the States for? Uh, two, two years. Two years? Yes. Okay. And, um, and uh, I met your husband. He seems very, very awesome. Very, very yes. um, protective awesome. of you, yes. which is important. Yes. Yes. This important. is a shitty business. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that when you're in Italy, do you perform in nightclubs? Yes, you yes, know? yes, yes. Do you know nice. Roberto Benini? Mm, no. You never met him? No. But you know who he is? Mm. He's like the Charlie Chaplin of Italy. Roberto <laughs> Benini? Oh, Bernini. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't know. I think that guy's great. great. Yeah, he's great. He got the Oscar and then he didn't go Hollywood. He stays in Italy. Yes. He does one film a year with his wife. Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, he's an artist. He's yeah, not an a artist. sellout. Yeah. 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 Tell us, um, do you have um, do you have anything to plug? A new album, for instance? Yes, I have two album, and you can download in iTunes if on you wish. What are the names of the albums? Uh, one is uh, Respect Nature, and one the other one is Just for You. One Respect is Nature. Just instrument. Respect Nature. Respect yes. Nature, and yes. Just for You. Yes, for you. On iTunes, and and you just go by Do 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 Yeah, that's do it. <laughs> great! International uh, <laughs> singing sensation all the way to the Unbelievable. We're going to be back with more pig rows, Dunya! Welcome back to the uh, pig Roast on Bash Box TV. I'm here with the legendary Big A from the Opie and Anthony radio show. Man, that scene with you and that, that puppet with you with your hand under her dress, that's TV history, you know? I think that's up there with the moon landing and the OJ verdict. What do you think? <laughs> did you feel like creepy when you did that? Yeah. Really? Really? Did you get turned on at all? Oh, I think that's going to be an internet sensation, dude. I'm so fucking dead. Kid. Who is it? It's Lena. Oh, man, it's that hot... It's the neighbor. It's the hot chick. Yeah, you gotta get out of here, you fat cock blocker. Run, Thoris, run! It's that hot chick from next door. Quick, take my cock out. George, I really like this girl. Please don't ruin this for me. Shut the fuck up. Last time she was here, she took you for 50 bucks. It's all right, that's how relationships work. Not all relationships, just the ones with you and hookers. We need to stop being a pussy and dine these fucking whores. They're all dirty whores. Well, just be nice, okay? I'm not promising nothing. Come in, Lana. How are you? Oh. Look at her. Oh, God. Hi, Otto. Hi, George. Hi, honey. Have a cocktail. A cock. It's okay. I'm good now. You look kind of down, Lana. You all right? I don't know. I got really drunk last night. Did you? Oh, this girl is perfect. She's vulnerable now. <laughs> they can move, fucking asshole. Look at the pegs on her. Oh, um, were you out with your boy boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Just the girls. Look at you. You're sweating like a fag eating a hot dog. Attention shoppers, <laughs> clean up on Otto's pants. The jerk off came on the frozen vegetables. A cock. Lana, do you know what chloroform is? No, what is that? Oh, this girl is perfect. Please take my cock out. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, do, do you have a headache from the hangover? Otto, you are so sweet. Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. Um, I don't have any aspirin. Um, uh, offer a shot of Jack Daniels no. and a roofie. Real problem. Really? Every time I get drunk, I black out and I forget everything. This whore keeps getting better and better. I feel like I'm being punk. If Ashton Kutcher shows up, I'll crack his fucking head open and dang him in the ass with Demi Moore's dildo. A cock. Well, I would go buy some aspirin, but I don't get paid until tomorrow. Here we go. Uh, I could lend you 20 bucks. Really? 
Oh, me. this dirty, if lying, you deceptive, do that fucking for me, skank. I would owe you the biggest favor ever. All I got, this is my last 20. Could you like, possibly fine. give me change? <laughs> Asshole! All right. Thank you, uh, there you go. Dirty whore, rip this off again. Double saw bucks. Bill, hey Bill, you the president of this thing? Am I looking at you? He's looking to me, but sometimes he messes up my eyes. Don't say that. It's embarrassing, Joel, you know this. That. Will you stop it? Talking to somebody over here, I'm going, hey, how you doing? All right. I feel like Columbo. No, you don't. You're looking, don't do that. Stop it. George, come on. Excuse me. No, come on. Yeah, one more thing. All right. <laughs> Stephanie, did my eyeball roll down there? Come on. George, I can't see crap. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yes, I can. All right, stop. <laughs> George, fix my eye. <laughs> Cut me, Mick. No, come on. Adrian? All right. Adrian? George. You need a tic-tac. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay.